If this goes down, then I guarantee you the Baltimore Ravens will break the NFL. But what exactly are we referring to? Well, we're going to talk about that shortly. Before we do, make sure you click the thumbs up button, leave a like on the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Now, Bleacher Report, they put out an article a couple of days ago that predicted every single team's next breakout player. And let's read the beginning introduction of that article. It says... Part of the beauty of the NFL and sports as a whole is that every year, several players make a name for themselves. In 2023, Green Bay Packers quarterback Jordan Love, Los Angeles Rams running back uh, Kyron Williams, and Chicago Bears cornerback Jalen Johnson, just to name a few, broke out. Uh, so with training camps around the league getting going, let's go division by division and take a stab at predicting every team's breakout candidate for this upcoming season. To qualify, a player has to be entering at most his fourth year and hasn't made a Pro Bowl or All-Pro team yet. So those are the qualifications for the players that they're going to name. But let's just jump straight to the Baltimore Ravens, who their potential breakout player is. And that was none other than first round draft pick, former first round draft pick, Adafe away. Let's read what they had to say about him. It says, with Jadavian Clowney now in Carolina, Baltimore is going to need someone to step up on the edge. They ain't lying. Uh, that should lead to a bigger role for Adafe away. And he's racked up 13 sacks over the last three years while making just 13 starts. He should have more opportunities to get after the quarterback, leading to more production, especially with Justin Matabike being disruptive on the interior. And I love that they mentioned Justin Matabike being more disruptive on the interior because in yesterday's presser, the sort of introduction to training camp, which started today, Justin Matabike said this. He said that he spent the offseason training in Atlanta with Adafe away and that's a beautiful thing because we saw Justin Matabike's growth we saw his potential start to be reached last year and we've seen his growth just over the years every single year he gets more opportunity and he produces more with Adafe away we've been waiting we've seen flashes here and there we've seen the potential here and there but we're waiting for him to put it all together if Adafe away has a breakout season this year let me, let me ask you before we even get to that let me ask you what are if somebody said hey team keep it clean for the Baltimore Ravens, what are the positions on the team that are question marks right now? What are the positions on the team that you may be unsure of right now for the Baltimore Ravens? Well, if you ask me, and put it in the comment section, please, whatever you feel. But if you ask me, I would say receiver. I would say pass rush. And I think we would all collectively say offensive line. Reason that those are question marks because there's a lot of unknown at those positions. There's potential and there's hope, but it's simply a lot of unknown. But specifically speaking with the pass rush position, with there being so much unknown there right now, if Adafi away can put it all together and break out, that could be a beautiful thing, not only for him, especially since the Baltimore Ravens picked up his fifth year option, so he got some more time, but it could be a beautiful thing for the Baltimore Ravens. And all the questions that we have at the pass rush position, they could start to be answered. Now, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans, especially recently, they say, oh, bring Matt Judon home. Bring Matt Judon back to Baltimore, especially since he got the whole contract issue going on right now uh, over with the Patriots. Now, if that happened, I would not be opposed to it at all. Because one thing about Matt Judon that I appreciated is that, especially his last couple of years with the Baltimore Ravens, he produced, he put up numbers, and he was not in a sack-friendly system. So imagine a Matt Judon that put up numbers in the previous system, but in this new system that is sack-friendly, that is pass-rush friendly. Oh, I think he could go crazy. I think he would go wild with it. But if Matt Judon does not come to the Baltimore Ravens, we already got a number 99 who has the potential to do some things. So if he does break out, that would be a beautiful thing. Now, it gets better because while we did mention Justin Matabike, he said that he spent his offseason training in Atlanta with Adafe Away. Adafe Away wasn't the only person that Justin Matabike was training with because Bleacher Report only spoke about Away as a potential breakout candidate for the Baltimore Ravens, but he is not the only potential breakout candidate for the Ravens, even uh, at the pass rush position. Because Justin Matabike said he also spent time with not only Tavius Robinson, but David Ajabo, too. So with David Ajabo, we, again, said the same thing all offseason. With him, the only thing holding him back is health. Health is wealth. But if he can stay healthy, we know it's there. We know that boy can rush the passer. We know he can produce. We know he can put up numbers. We know he can get sacks. We know he can get strip sacks. We know he can do all of that. 
But for him, the only issue is staying on the field. So if we could get a, a breakout season from a Dafe away, that would be amazing. But it would be even better if we could get it from David Ajabo as well. Hearing a word from our sponsor. You know how in football they say when you look good, you play good, and you feel good? Well, it's the same exact way when you're getting dressed. Not only has Cuts Clothing completely changed the t-shirt game, but they have so many other simple yet sophisticated items. Cuts t-shirts like these are so high quality that even when you're dressing down it'll look like you're dressing up see there's a reason why cuts clothing is a trusted brand of professional athletes if you ever watch players from your favorite football basketball team come into the arena there's a high chance that you saw them in some cuts clothing and the best part about cuts is that it's built to last there are a lot of places where you can go and you can get a nice looking shirt but once you wash it even if you dry clean it it's done that's a wrap but with Cuts Clothing, you don't have to worry about that. So I know you're wondering, how can you get your own set of Cuts Clothing? Well, to help you embrace that summer state of mind with Cuts, for a limited time, our listeners get 20% off their entire order from Cuts when you use code engraving at checkout. That's 20% off your entire order at CutsClothing.com when you use promo code engraving. Please show some love to the show and let them know that we sent you so you can experience the perfect blend of style and comfort with Cuts Clothing. And we got a question from my guy, Java. And let's listen to what he said He said Roe plus Eddie Jackson Equals Ray and Ed He said LOL He's just kidding Just playing Team keep it clean Relax He's just playing He's just joking He's just joking But anyway He said uh, My question is Why do you think The Baltimore Ravens Chose Eddie Jackson Instead of Justin Simmons How is he a better fit For us Versus Simmons Oh I, I think straight up I, I just think it's about money I think it's about money, and I think that's why Eddie Jackson, was, like that's why everybody's been chosen over Justin Simmons, in my opinion. That's what I think it's about, because we know Justin Simmons can play some football. Uh, we know that he could create some turnovers. We know that he can play in the NFL, um, but that's, that's, again, how weird it's been with the whole Justin Simmons thing, with him still floating out there, him still being a free agent. He ain't hurt. He ain't got no injury issues. He ain't got no character concern. He ain't got none of that stuff. So with him still being a free agent, the only thing that it could be would be that, hey, maybe some teams reached out to him, that, hey, what, what number are you looking for? What number are you looking at for, for the contract? And he told that they wanted this, and he probably told them that. And look, I ain't mad at it. Get your money. And don't settle. So I, I, I get it, I, I, and I respect it. So maybe that's why the Baltimore Ravens chose Eddie Jackson. Maybe with Justin Simmons, maybe he ain't from South Florida. I think that would be the biggest thing. Maybe he just ain't from Florida, and Ravens are like, look, we want more Florida Ravens on the squad. And Justin Simmons, you don't quite fit the criteria, my friend. But no, seriously, I, I just really think it was probably about money. Um, Cause right now with training camp, especially this is way after uh, the first and second waves of free agency. This is way after the drafts. So most teams have allocated a lot of their money to the places where they are gonna spend it. So now they're dealing with a lot of leftovers, a lot of carryover money, uh, stuff that's for a rainy day, so to speak, uh, and just some clean up the back end of the roster type money. So they ain't looking to spend nothing crazy. They ain't looking to dish out a bunch of cash like that. So at, at the time period that we're at, literally the first day of training camp, teams ain't signing no players to no major deals right now that are not already on the team. They may say sign players to contract extensions, but they ain't signing players to no crazy deals in free agency right now. So that's the only thing that I could think of with Justin Simmons as to not only why the Baltimore Ravens chose to go in another direction, but why a lot of teams have not signed Justin Simmons. It, it has to be strictly because of money. PFF composed a list of sleeper wide receivers this upcoming season, and a Baltimore Raven actually made it, but it's probably not who you were thinking. Uh, their list said that Curtis Samuel, Brandon Cooks, Jalen Polk, Michael Wilson, and Devontae Walker of the Baltimore Ravens were some 2024 fantasy sleepers at the wide receiver position. And I can, I, I can get with this because with... Tez Walker, when you think about him, you think about a deep threat, a big play guy. And he's somebody that if him and Lamar and Munkin and all them, the whole offense, they could really start going and really start clicking and they could hit a couple of shots every game and just find different ways to involve him on the offense. He's a big play waiting to happen. And I know y'all people that play fantasy, the, the bigger the plays, the bigger the points. So Tez Walker being a fantasy sleeper at wide receiver, yeah, I can see it.